Hope y'all doing right. Hope nobody got y'all tight. And as long as you stay fly, everything gonna be all right. Today I'm filming my most, one of my most heavily requested videos, which is just basically essentially what my diet is, which pertains to modeling as well as just my own personal preferences. Hey, I got a special somebody with me today. Yeah, I got a cameraman, so I don't have to multitask too hard today. But uh, yeah, we finna just get right into it. So yeah, my first thing, I always go with sourdough bread. This causes less inflammation. So I've just been trying it out recently. I stopped eating as much bread just because it causes inflammation. I don't like my face feeling swollen, especially for modeling and all that. It makes me feel less bloated. So I haven't recorded in a while, y'all. So bear with me as I knock the rust off. Oh, and bro, we this close to hitting 1K. This close. We at 7, 18 as of right now. So y'all the fucking goat for real, aren't they? Yeah. You perfect, you don't even know what I just said. So I had to, I'm firing my cameraman temporarily. <laughs> Are you even gonna introduce yourself to my to my vlog? <laughs> what do you want me to say? This is Liv, y'all. It's Liv. <laughs> Can we get a drip check? No, no, no. Cut <laughs> the shoes. Wow. I'm a big fruit guy and like I don't eat sweets. So I get my sugar, I like to get my sugar from fruits and Things of that nature. Your fruit what? <laughs> You're leaving your organic fruit behind. So your hair shaped like that now. <laughs> Always pick from the back. <laughs> Y'all, my cameraman sucks. But uh. <laughs> he wants to crap on me. Yet he can't even pick up a bag. <laughs> My asparagus. I'm gonna show y'all the current lineup. So I'm really not a snack person. I seen these, I saw these, and I just got them. It's like my only little cheat snack that I'm gonna get. So we got these, the sourdough bread, which I explained to y'all. Pineapple, self-explanatory, can never go wrong with fruit. Tomatoes, because I love making pasta and spaghetti, so gotta have the tomatoes. Then we got our vegetables. Make sure I eat our vegetables and don't eat like a damn kid. Uh, like something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna shop for some more vegetables. Show y'all when I get those. And I'm gonna get some more fruit too, of course. And then we gonna be on to the proteins. Mm. <laughs> I'm still in this food recipe that I saw online. Y'all get the picture. You got yukon potatoes. You got red potatoes. So I get the yukon potatoes because when you cook them, I like to eat the skin and it's a lot softer than regular potatoes. So when you cook it, it's, it feels better eating than the texture. So I get these, you can get any potatoes. This is just my preference. I like the way they cook, especially if you want to make mashed potatoes. I like to leave the skin on, so. I was looking for the green onions. I don't see any, so I'm not gonna just drag y'all off these owls aimlessly, but green onions and cilantro are fire herbs to put on your food. Definitely green onions. The texture is just fire. So if you wanna get some green onions, if you wanna take my advice, get some green onions. I look you wanna get an ostrich egg just to try it. You know I just wanna find this at a regular grocery store. Cause it's not regular. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> let me give y'all a quick fit check. Cause I almost forgot. We just go flannel today. Just slight pearls for the chain, the rings. They didn't really feel like wearing a watch. Just felt like going light today on the jewelry, so got a bracelet. I'm bringing the skinny jeans back, y'all see it. When the last time you seen somebody rocking skinny jeans, huh? Were you just complaining about 
I was feeling skinny jeans today, so I just pressed the proportions like this wouldn't have looked right with baggy jeans, so I had to proportion it right, you feel me? Then we go Vans, can never go wrong with these. Go Vans, and yeah, just a pretty slight fit. What? Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Yo! <laughs> The red glizzy is crazy. <laughs> so right now I'm just sticking to the essentials, basically showing y'all what the foundation of my diet is, which is a lot of fruit, vegetables, and protein. And for protein, I mostly go with fish and chicken. Because yeah, for right now, I'm, I'm just trying to gain weight and get back to where I was when I was playing football. So like around like 180. A lot of people think for modeling, you gotta, like they make you be skinny or whatever it may be. But it honestly just depends on what type of model you want to be and how you want your career to go. So that's really a myth, to be honest. They don't like tell you like stay skinny or whatever. Um, so you can pretty much eat whatever you want. So that's just to clear the air on that. But I just personally like to eat healthy. I'm a big health conscious person. This is just what I like to get, a lot of fruit and stuff. But yeah, you can eat whatever, chips and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it just it helps me feel better. I feel better, I feel healthier. And it keeps me with a clear head because I don't feel like shit all day. And as well as just like your digestive system and all those little things that just overall make you feel better. So that's just kind of what my mindset is when it comes to diet. Hopefully somebody can take some inspiration from that and kind of clean up their act because you got to take care of your body. As much as you take care of your mind as well, they go together. They're cohesive. So it's a little gym for y'all. I'm going to show y'all the uh, fish that I get when I come here and kind of just pitch all along. I don't know if your supermarket might have it, but if they do, it's just something I recommend trying. I get the uh, swordfish steak. I'm about to try this shark steak, y'all. I usually get the uh, swordfish steak. Which one? Oh, um, you want me to Sea bass is good. So next on my list, I'm looking for avocado oil, organic avocado oil. This vlog, pretty much, other than me showing y'all the food and stuff, I'm just really just trying to get back used to vlogging and angles and making sure everything is just being fluid with this vlog and stuff. So I'm so tired of having to take breaks, but it's been like productive breaks like that I haven't just been not doing anything I've definitely still been posting on IG and TikTok so y'all go follow those it's always in the link in the description but uh, also just stuff with life like I just bought a new car this summer uh, and I just bought something else that I'm gonna keep as a surprise for right now there's some stuff that's really gonna boost the channel and just we'll talk about it in another video that calls for that but give my, give my viewers one uh give them a tip like some advice something a tip? Yeah. Um, and advi some advice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Get you some sweets. <laughs> I'm trying to. I've been trying to figure out what exactly I want to cook. That's kind of why I've been. It's been like sporadic selection. But like I said, it's really just the foundation of like what I eat. So I drink a gallon of water a day. So make sure I stay hydrated. And fruit. I stay away from sweets, artificial stuff. I always check the ingredients when I'm buying something, especially something new that I haven't had before. And yeah, I really just try to eat natural things, vegetables, stuff without like GMO and all that. That's really what the basis of my diet is. You know, just trying to stay away from processed stuff. Even though it's impossible, like just about everything is processed in a sense, but you get what I mean. Like the stuff that's clearly like, you know, a bunch of diet foods and stuff that has straight sugar and all those kind of things like you just want to you can try to negate or at least lower your intake on things like that it definitely takes discipline for sure it's not just something you could just pick up on overnight but i would say it's definitely worth it like i feel a lot better um and overall just you make better decisions as far as you know once you start taking care of your health you start just naturally taking care of other aspects of your life as well so it's just a domino effect so yeah, once you get that discipline down i mean it's really just uphill from there um, and I, at this point, I'm just trying to convince the people around me to 
you know, kind of, I'm not trying to change them, but, you know, just kind of put it in their ear, like, just to be a little more conscious of their health and stuff, just because I want what's best for them, so. Another staple that I like to hold myself accountable to in my diet is staying away from as much sodium as possible, so, like, a lot of salty foods, and I just watch my intake on that, because that also causes inflammation. It can cause, you know, your face to swell, and just overall, it's a lot of salt not really good for you. So I also switched over to pink Himalayan salt, so I use that instead of just regular table salt. Um, and yeah, when I'm buying foods, I also just always check for the sodium and just make sure it's not nothing crazy. I believe the daily recommend intake is like, if I'm not mistaken, 2,000. I'm pretty sure it's 2,000. Um, but I try to stay well below that if I can, or if I do I always drink plenty of water to counter, counter that. So, um, but I hope I kind of gave you guys a gist of, you know, something to kind of base your a healthier diet around. Um, it doesn't even have to just be for modeling, just overall health in general. If you made it this far, comment pineapple. Real quick, I just want to give y'all a rundown of more in depth, a little quick explanation or summary if that's what you want to call it. Just a few things like the biggest takeaways from my diet is. Um, I really watched my sodium intake just because, like I said, inflammation and just not really being the best thing for you to intake in large quantities. So I really watched that as well as I watched sugar. I don't like a lot of processed sugars, especially high fructose corn syrup. Stay away from that as you can. Uh, just get in the habit of reading the ingredients on the back of the labels or the things you buy. And that's definitely something you want to watch out for to stay away from as much as you can. So high fructose corn syrup, just processed sugar in general, try to get organic sugar or cane sugar that's a really good alternative and as well as just fruits and vegetables like see i got my broccoli here i gotta put this back in the fr in the freezer soon but i just wanted to show y'all in person like broccoli i uh, get the florets i like how they cook um as well as just fruits organic fruits uh try to get the ones without the wax or the um pesticides sprayed on them if you can I've, I've been munching on these for breakfast just because i'm not really the best morning person so um, I like something quick and simple and these are really good or something that's really good that I've picked up on and kind of uh, latched on to which is just oats, topia, tapioca, syrup, brown rice flour, canola oil, cane sugar, raisin paste, honey, buckwheat, and uh, cinnamon and natural flavors. It doesn't really have any artificial flavors. Sourdough bread, I've made alternative. I've switched over to this instead of just getting wheat or white bread, especially white bread. Stay away from that if you, if you can. It's not really the best bread for you and that also can cause inflammation. So that's one thing that, uh, especially for my models out there, is just you wanna keep your face and body as well toned as you can. And then also for breakfast, I've been just getting these just straight oats for oatmeal and with some oat milk uh oat or almond milk has been what i've been on lately um yeah that's pretty much it uh, a lot of fruit a lot of vegetables a lot of vegetables and try to stay away from processed foods if you can i know it sucks that things that's, that are more on the healthier side are just because they're organic and cost more at times i definitely get it and definitely don't spend the money you don't have but just also realize that if you do have it but you just feel like you rather go the cheaper way just realize it's your health when it all comes down to your health and you can't put a price on that and i know some things you might look at it as like well i don't want to spend more when i could get the same thing this or a different option is cheaper that fulfills the same thing, whether it's a sweet tooth or whatever, but just realize it's your health at the end of the day and you can't put a price on that. So why not give it the best quality things that you can? That's the way I look at it at least. And so I'm just here to just try to give y'all some gems that can help guide y'all on that path. And I'm still learning as well. Like I said, I don't know everything. I just know that I like to be conscious of my health and what I put in my body and just feeling better overall in general. So it definitely takes discipline and it's definitely not something that's going to happen overnight. Just switching over to a different lifestyle, especially the way that you eat. But if you made it this far in the video, you obviously want to or you're at least considering doing it or, or interested in it. So I'm done talking your head off. And with that being said, go make some healthy changes and just watch how you start feeling better and walking different. Like you're just going to feel so much better. And just trust me. That's all I'm going to say. And with that being said, I love y'all. I've been going crazy on Instagram, so that's why I've been lacking on YouTube. But check out the IG. We've been going crazy with the fashion and things of that nature. And I love y'all. Hope y'all stay right. Don't let nobody get y'all tight. As long as you stay fly, everything gonna be all right. Lay off.